Será que é uma crossbar do Será que é uma crossbar do Não, não, só eu fiquei tigre ao ponto de ver. So, are you so, ready to be my sleep? Are you ready to be my sleep? So I believe you're ready for the presentation. It's starting in 30 minutes. Oh God, I totally, I totally forgot. It escaped my mind. Do you think, do you think you could do your presentation today and give me more time to get mine done? Sure, well, inform the management. Thanks, Paul. Whew. Can I have a word with you? Sure. Let me show you something. Um, in um, Luke, I just saw it. I want to show you something. Luke 28, verse 30. Um, so this verse says, uh, Suppose one of you want to build a tower. Won't you first sit down and estimate the cost to see if you have enough money to complete it? For if you lay the foundation and are not able to finish it, Everyone who sees it will ridicule you, saying, this person began to build and wasn't able to finish it. Now, I, I feel you need to start um, planning around your end verse. I think you need to start um, counting your costs. You don't want to please everyone and run yourself dry and then start begging later. Uh, I feel that um, you have to plan for the rainy days. Because um, at some point, even the rain will cease to fall. I, I just don't want to be an embarrassment to my wife and my cousins. Better to plan, succeed, yet look broke. Pray about it. It is better to plan and fail than not to plan at all. So God expects us to plan. For instance, God has a great plan for your life. His plan is for you to have a great ending. His plan for you is good. If you read your Bible very well, you realize that God has a plan for us. So much that he gave his only begotten son to redeem us. So, why won't you plan? Are you busy? Yes, I'm very busy, but I can always abandon it. What's up? I've been thinking about this trip. I don't think we should go to Rome this time of year. We need to save for next year, you know. And based on what we have in the account, we don't have much. What do you think? Well, I've been thinking about it too. Something happened to me at work today. I went into Paul's office to borrow money, as usual. And he told me to read a verse from the Bible. Something about a slave to the lender. That's Proverb 22, verse 7. I was so angry. I walked out of there. He, he asked me, are you ready to be my slave? And I was so angry that I messed up my entire presentation. Let's spend better. Let's spend what we have in the account. Ugh, I'll be back. It's my phone. Don't just depend on what you know or what you think. Seek good advice. Seek advice uh, from those experienced in the subject matter. Seek good advice uh, from those experienced in that area of life or in that endeavor that you're about to launch into. Take your time. 
You can get books, do your research, get tapes, but it is your duty to get detailed information before you launch. No, my name is Taylor, but I'm not a tailor. Get it right, bro. All right. Mr. Trader, what's going on? Okay, I've suddenly become an emergency mathematician, but my numbers aren't adding up. We canceled the trip, and that helps a lot. But still, based on my calculation, I have to borrow. How do you mean? No, I still have to send my stuff to, to my cousins, you know. Are you in luck? Are you that poor? Nope, they're all professionals. And they're doing really well financially. Okay. Don't get me wrong. You can still borrow for investment. Maybe for educational purposes. You can even borrow to save your life. I got you, Paul. Remember, God will always send someone to encourage you and give you information that you need. Or discourage you, discourage you to say, stop, don't do it. Now, you have to be humble enough to take this advice. <laughs>